friends, so I want to tell you a story. Two stories, really. The first is about the time I moved back from Vegas to Seattle. My dad had flown in to help me with the driving, and when I picked him up from the airport, I surprised him with the confidence that I had in navigating the city. I'm notoriously bad with directions, but I had gotten to know the valley pretty well, and I also lived just a couple blocks down from the stratosphere, which is the tallest building in the state of Nevada, so all else fails, just drive toward the really tall tower in the middle of all of the two-story motels. He reminded me, as he drove up through the high desert, through Idaho and eastern Oregon, that a strong, confident woman had picked him up from the airport and that I should make sure not to forget about her. But as soon as I opened up the door to my Seattle apartment, she was already gone. There's this saying about how you can't go home again. Once you've grown up and been other places and had other experiences, you go back to your old haunts and they don't fit you anymore. They lose their sense of familiarity, everything feels a bit smaller. But when I walked back into my old apartment for the first time, I think it was me who felt smaller. Me who remembered how alone she'd felt, who had forgotten how much she'd grown. So another story about a time I went home again. I came back to the dance studio I had grown up going to about a year after I'd graduated college. I came back to take a ballet class having not danced in quite a while, and I was nervous because I was so out of practice. My leg extensions were pathetic, and I got all tangled up and confused during fast degages. There were all these high school kids who just could kick up to their ears, and they had their whole futures ahead of them, and enough ankle strength to still support themselves on point shoes. But I remember my dance teacher, who's known me since I was three years old, whispering to me as she walked around the room that, unlike all the self-conscious 16-year-olds, she could tell in the way that I carried my arms and held my head that I danced with confidence, that I had a certain self-possession about me. There's this Tumblr post that I'll link below by a semi-stranger friend of a friend of mine who reminds me about how we can't go home. About how she grew up anxious, insecure, and how a friend told her how nice it might be to raise their own kids differently. And there's this last line that I've been carrying around with me for months, like a prayer. I've been raising myself to be strong and sure. Maybe we can't go back, not really, to the places we were raised because once we leave, the work of raising ourselves continues. And when I feel small and unsteady, maybe that's because I need yet a little more raising. And I am raising myself to be strong and sure too. So in comments, tell me about a time when you tried coming back home. If you liked this video, you can subscribe if you're so inclined. You can also find me on all my social medias and links below. And I will see you next week. Bye.